Hello and welcome to Miss Sawyer's and Miss Chauber's 7th grade language arts vocabulary week 1. This year we will do a vocabulary list each week. We will work on a total of 10 words a week. Some weeks throughout the year we will run a vocabulary through a flipped classroom format. Each time we do this format you will be assigned to watch the flipped classroom videos posted on the class website and complete the worksheet or activity. On Fridays, we will have a vocabulary quiz. As you watch the video, you should be taking notes from each slide. After the video is over, you will then complete the activity assigned to you. On the quizzes, there will be a fill in the blank section and a spelling section. This week, we will practice taking this kind of quiz so you know what it looks like. Now I will show you how to access the vocabulary videos. First, you need to go to the McKnight site. Once you get to the McKnight Middle School site, you'll need to go down to the green menu on the side here and go down to teacher websites. Here will be all of the classes website at McKnight. You'll need to make sure that you click on the tab by author name if they're not alphabetical. Then you can scroll down to find either Miss Trauber's name or my name. And you should find Sarah Sawyer. And then you can click on the link that says Miss Sawyer's seventh grade language arts class. And our website will pop up. Then you need to find the vocabulary videos tab, which will be one of these blue tabs on the side. And we'll click on vocabulary videos. Then there will be a link posted. It's not posted there right now, but it will be after this video. And it will be titled vocabulary week one and you will be able to click on the link and it will take you to the website where it's posted. Now you should be taking notes in your vocabulary section of your notebook if you are in my class or where Ms. Trauber wants you to take your vocabulary notes in her class. Our first word is expository. The definition of expository is a word used to describe a piece of writing that explains a subject to its reader. An example sentence that we could use this word is Luke wrote an expository essay about how sports build lifelong skills. And then we have a picture of someone writing in their notebook in school. And then we also have a cartoon of somebody explaining a subject to someone else reading off her paper. So expository writing is writing used to explain something to another person. It could be an essay, an article, or a letter. And those are the kinds of expository writing. The next word is indent. The definition of indent is the space between the margin of the paper and the place where a paragraph starts. An example sentence that we would use this word would be, I use an indent when I reach a new paragraph. And as you can see in our pictures, we have a space with the speech bubble that says indent showing the space in between the margin and the place where the paragraph starts. Also, we have an example of writing with an indent and an arrow pointing to the space, and then an example of writing without an indent that is aligned with the rest of the words in the paragraph on the margin. Our third word is body paragraph. 
The definition of a body paragraph is the part of an essay or report that explains and develops a main idea or thesis. An example sentence is, my body paragraphs are the longest part of my essay. And here we have a picture of a five paragraph essay written by a seventh grader. And we have our three body paragraphs that explain and develop our main idea that is listed above. It is also the longest part of our essay. Next we have our word introduction. The definition of introduction is the opening of an essay which identifies the topic, creates interest, and prepares the reader for the development of the thesis. An example sentence would be, I began my essay with an introduction. And here we have that same essay and an arrow pointing to the introduction part of the essay where they introduce their topic, create interest, and prepares the reader for what's in their body paragraphs. Conclusion. The definition of conclusion is the last paragraph that brings an essay to a satisfying and logical end usually by summing up the points in the body paragraphs. An example sentence could be, I restated my thesis in my conclusion. And here we have that same essay with an arrow pointing to the conclusion paragraph where the author sums up their points in the last paragraph of the essay. Okay, that is going to be it for our vocabulary week one. Some things to remember are to take notes during the video. Remember you can pause it when you need to write and then start it again when you're ready. And after the video is over, complete the vocabulary activity we have assigned to you.